Good morning, Floss Tube. This is Robin. Thank you for stopping in at my channel, Lady Robins. I'm also Lady Robins on Instagram, so you can follow me both places if you're interested. Welcome. I am thrilled that you're here. I feel like I've picked up a couple of new subscribers, so for the new folks in the audience, welcome. I am happy that you're here and that cross stitch is of interest to you. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for being so loyal and coming back week after week to see what I'm up to. I appreciate you all so. Today is the 1st of December. I am so psyched. I love December. Christmas is my favorite holiday and we're just, we're just slowly getting there to, to the big day. I am really, really happy with um, the turning the calendar over to that December 1st date. I'm hoping you guys that are in the US had a fantastic Thanksgiving. We had a very calm Thanksgiving. It was just my family and my mom and my dad. And we had a really nice time. It was great. I had the smallest turkey breast you've ever seen in your whole entire life. <laughs> we, we ended up uh, having leftovers only for two nights, but we also had a ham, so that carried us over for a few more days. So that was, that was very nice. Um, played some games. My son and I sat down and played cribbage. When was the last time you played cribbage, right? We had to look up the rules. We um, we had a hard time getting going, but once once we had, we had a couple of couple of hands in, it uh, it started to come back to us, and we had a really good time playing cribbage. And then I said, "Well, since we're breaking out old games, we need to try backgammon next." So that's next on our list is to break up and dust off the old backgammon board and see if we can figure that one out too. It was a lot of fun. It was totally fun. Before I get rolling, let's not forget our mug. We are in St. Louis today. Vanilla latte, the classic. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not, right? If, if something works for you, just stick with it. That was my stitching this week too. I started a project and was having so much fun stitching on it that I didn't switch projects until last night. I don't have a lot of um, whips to show you this week, but hopefully you, you're here for it anyway, right? Because we can still talk about it and I can show you what I did and what I got up to. All right, let's have a, let's have a beverage. Oh my goodness. So on Thanksgiving day, my, my parents came over and my poor dad has got a huge black eye. He got up in the middle of the night and ran into the wall and gave himself a shiner. <laughs> so all the pictures that I took of the family at Thanksgiving have got my dad with a huge black eye in him. Ah, oh, poor guy. Luckily, it doesn't hurt, but he looks like he's been in a brawl. Anyway, what can you do? All right, what did you guys get up to? Did you did you have funny things that happened over Thanksgiving? So so besides that, we didn't have really any other you know big you know big fiascos. We did play we did play a, a pretty fun game though. I had bought a. Um, little acrylic cube it's full of cards and they're they're kind of like topic sparkers and so we went through those cards everybody picked a card and they they asked your the, uh, the question that was on the card and it was really interesting to um, hear everybody's answer like one of the questions my mom really got hung up on this one was if you had a twin what do you think the best thing and the worst thing would be about having a twin? We we talked about that over and over again because the longer you thought about it, the more things you came up with. And when I was in high school, there were um, twin, identical twin boys in my class. 
and honestly if they didn't comb their hair differently you could not tell them apart at all and I remember once we asked them to have you guys ever like switched places and gone to each other's classes and they confessed that they actually did it once they did it one time and it was a nightmare <laughs> because they didn't know they didn't know where the other you know class was they weren't you know okay where you know where does my brother sit in this class and they said it was the most stressful day ever and they never did it again <laughs> but I thought that was I thought that was really funny that they actually tried it um I think if I would if I had a twin I would I would have to try that just once just to see if I could get away with it and they did get away with it but they said it wasn't it wasn't as much fun fun as it sounded <laughs> Oh, I thought that was a great, I thought that was a great story. One of, one of the other questions that we asked, um, that was asked was if you could do one of three things, um, go rock climbing, learn how to drive a race car or, or pilot, a you know, a rocket ship out into space, what would you choose? And it was interesting. My whole family, we all chose pilot pilot a, a rocket ship out into space and my dad said he would love to know how to drive a race car and I thought that was that was interesting to hear hear what my dad said so and my mom she she was like I'm not choosing I'm not doing any of those things <laughs> which is which is classic which is classic mom she is she is very cautious she doesn't um she's not very adventurous. She likes to do the things she, she knows. And so it didn't surprise us at all that she refused to pick. And then in the end we were like, no, you have to pick. And she's like, well, I'm not going rock climbing. We're like, well, yeah, I, I would have guessed that. And then she was like, well, I'm not going to space. That just sounds terrible. We're like, so you're going to drive the race car? And she goes, no, I'm not doing any of those things. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, let's get into stitching, shall we? All right, I had a start, and you're probably not going to be surprised. I started something out of um, the latest issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. I started the Friendly Beasts, and let me show you. This is by Abby Jones of Top Knot Stitcher Shop. So I started this guy. And let me show you where I got to. So this is how far I got on the Friendly Beasts. Oh my gosh. I just about, I just about coffee dyed my fabric there, guys. <laughs> so um, I told you last time, let me try folding it in half, that'll probably go a little bit better, that I was thinking of using the lovely silks that came in my latest um, Be Stitch Me order. In the end, I didn't do that because I didn't have enough silk for all of the different colors and I didn't want to... Um, weight and special order silk so I just went I pulled all of the DMC that were suggested and I of course you know I feel like I have the whole DMC line but still I had three that I didn't have so I ended up having to do quite a number of substitutions because I didn't have like I said I, I was missing three and then I'm doing this on a um, a vintage country mocha and a number of the flosses really blended into the background on this guy which I was surprised so I completely um, made my own selection on the star I made it um, just a little bit brighter the doves I know it's supposed to be a male and a female and so of course they have you know they have different colors um the colors on the female it 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 just disappeared when i held that floss up to the fabric it just it was just completely wiped out so 
I actually ended up on Google and I was Googling, you know, doves and pigeons and um, I saw that a number of um, them had had really beautiful, um, f not fluorescent, um, opalescent bellies with, you know, kind of blues and teals, which blues and teals, that's my jam. So I, um, I switched that up. And then the other thing, the, um, the white that was, that's supposed to be the, um, the spots on the cow, that also just faded into this vintage country mocha. So I ended up pulling, what did I use? I think I used, I think I used just, um, oh, I used Ecru. I used DMC Ecru. That's what I used. And I think it really pops. I'm really happy with how this is progressing. But my friend Becca of Sambury Stitches has already completed it. She's FFO'd it and it's on display in her house. Honestly, that girl is like a stitching savant. <laughs> I do not stitch that fast, you guys. I I don't know. I, I feel like I enjoy my stitching. We've talked about this before. But I am just pokey. I think part of it is um, a lot of times when I'm stitching, it's at the end of my day and I've used up all my energy. <laughs> and so by the time I get to stitching, I'm like, I put in three stitches and then I stare at the TV. <laughs> and I put in five stitches and then I consult the chart. <laughs> so I've actually been trying to stitch in the morning and I, I find that I'm getting a lot more progress if I get up, make myself coffee, and just sit down and stitch for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what my, what my day is looking like. So anyway, there is the first thing that I stitched on this week. So if you guys haven't picked, picked this, this issue up, there's tons of great stitching in here. I would highly, 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 highly recommend getting yourself a copy of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. This thing is chock full of goodness. The only thing I'm, the only thing um, I will say is that it's hard to stitch out of out of the magazine because the flosses are on this page and then the pattern is on the back side of the floss key. So I keep having to. Um, turn it back and forth and then it's you know it's a great quality um printing but it's slippery it keeps slipping off my lap as i'm stitching thump, thump. <laughs> so anyway um i probably should make a working copy right okay so that's the first thing that i got up to this week and then last night i decided it was time to break out my beloved Bent Creek. So let me show you what I, where I got to on that last night. So I am stitching um, this one, the Gift of Peace. What do they call that again? I I made up a name for it. The Gift of Peace alphabet. I was calling it the the ABC sampler, but it's the Gift of Peace um, alphabet. So. And this, this is actually what I was um, stitching on the, this morning when I had the news on. And let me get that. So when last we met, I had finished the alphabet. And so then this morning, I, and, and last night a little bit, I started working on the first tree. And I just totally love it. I think I think this will be this will be finished up probably on December <laughs> on Christmas Eve because we all know I'm so pokey but um I got a little thread there anyway I'm really I'm really enjoying this stitch and this is on um a 32 count platinum Zweigart linen 
Okay, and then this I forgot to tell you. This is on 32 count vintage country mocha. So, so you know what it is. And then um, if you're new here, this chart is not available. Um, I attended a Bent Creek and Heart and Hand um, Zoom retreat, and this was the this was the kit that was mailed to all of the people who went and. It's exclusive to retreat participants, and they said they're not going to release it, which is, again, I think that's unusual. Normally, they'll hold it back for a year and then release it out to everybody, but they've decided they want it to be really super exclusive, and they're not going to do that. So, I hope you don't love it as much as I do, because it's not available for purchase. Maybe somebody will loan you their copy once they're done stitching, right? So that's what I got up to in terms of my stitching. However, I do need to show you the frames are done. My husband was making two frames for two finished um, cross-stitch pieces. The frames are done. All right, they're right behind my camera, so excuse me as I reach around ya. All right. So the frames, they're not painted or finished yet, but just so you can see what it's looking, what it's gonna look like, I did, I did tuck the pieces around the mat board and, you know, I haven't pinned them or anything. They're not straight. But just so you can have an idea, here's the frame for Fresh Pick Pumpkins. Isn't that great? Didn't he do a good job? Yeah. So I haven't decided um, how, you know, if I, if I just want to maybe put a little, um, you know, like a, a little sealer on it. If I, if I like this natural color or if I want to try to, you know, spray paint it and match one of the, one of the pumpkin colors, I haven't decided yet, but there's my first frame handmade by the oh so talented Rob Schultz. <laughs> and then the second one, okay, this one is so long. I'm having, <laughs> I'm having a hard time, um, is let us be thankful. Isn't that great? So again, um, it, you know, it's just the natural wood. I haven't, I haven't sealed it or waxed it or done anything yet. So as you can see, there's my basting. I still need to, um, get that on, on here. So I'm super excited about how this is turning out. So those are my two frames. Um, this one, I, I might, I might um, stain it to maybe match the floss color for the letters. I think, I think that might be really, really super slick on that one. So that is my two frames and my husband, he's a genius. Yep. The only thing, the only thing is he was so critical of his work. It made me feel a little sad because he's like my, you know, my joints aren't exactly 45s. And, you know, he was, he was pointing out, you know, every, every time the grain of the frame didn't match. And oh my goodness, he's a perfectionist. <laughs> he likes to do it right. So he found a, another tool on Amazon that he thinks that he needs to do the next round of frames when we get there. So Christmas is going to be super easy for me because somebody is uh, pointing out everything they want on Amazon. <laughs> How you doing on your shopping? Are you, are you already um, going? I think yesterday was Cyber Monday, it's supposed to be lots of deals. I, I will admit I'm doing great on my shopping. I have an idea for just about 
all of my family members. A lot of them have already been purchased and shipped. I'm supposed to get a couple packages this morning from Amazon. So yeah, things are going well. Plus I got all inspired. I watched an episode of Hello from Liz Matthews on Floss Tube where she made an advent calendar for Stitchy Friends and I did that for two of my girlfriends and one of them told me that it showed up in the mail so I'm hoping the second one shows up today that I'm not ruining the surprise and today is December 1st so the first little package can be opened. Woohoo! I hope they I hope they I hope they like it. I hope they have as much fun opening the packages as I had making them. It was a total blast to try to think of things to go in, you know, each little day's envelope. I only did 12. I did like the 12 days of Christmas and it was fun. I had a great time. And the other thing I did was I told myself that I wanted the items in each bag to be under $2. I, I don't know about you. I, I love the idea of making that, but I also don't like the idea of it breaking the bank. So I was able to come up with a number of things. There are things that have been hanging around my house that I was able to um, send to them that I thought matched the theme of my, my um, holiday advent calendar for them. So anyway, if you're, if you're needing, if you're needing a quick gift, go check out the Liz Matthews um, floss tube and I'll try to, I'll remember to link it below and it, it might just spur you on to an idea for something to, to uh, do for friends or family during the holiday season. Okay, so speaking of the holiday, being December 1st, a lot of floss tubers do floss, flossmas blogs. So they're little 10-minute um, ten ten snippets um, usually having something to do with Christmas or winter or the holidays. I fully intended to do Flossmas. I bought two, oh, I think I bought three, um, three stitchy boxes to open on my Flossmas. Only one has arrived, and of course, it's the um, Black Needle Society nice list box, but I wasn't quick enough to get the entire um, 24 um, item box. I only was able to get the 12 item box, so my numbers don't start until it's either the 15th or the 16th. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. Stay tuned. I I think I am going to still try to do Flossmas and the first few episodes might just be showing you previous Christmas stitching finishes. Now, if you've been with me for a year, I did a finish parade last December. So these will probably be repeats. However, for those of you that are new and don't want to, you know, troll through all my old episodes, it might be interesting. I'll, I'll just wing it, you guys, right? That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to, this is my first year trying to do the um, Flossmas uh, blog posts, vlog posts. I think it's a vlog, right? Because it's video. Anyway, I'm going to give it a whirl. And We'll just, we'll just see how it goes, right? No harm, no foul if it doesn't work out, but we'll just give it a try. Which leads me into my plans. So besides trying to do uh, Flossmas vlog posts daily, so I, I, there should be a, a second video coming from me today for you. What are my plans for December? 
All right. I have dusted off my 24 hours of cross stitch, cross stitch planner. I completely bagged it in November. It was just one more thing that I didn't have enough brain space for, but I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm fully committed to my December acrostic and I love our, our letters. This month it is tick tock chime. There are lots of C's in here, which is great for Christmas stitching, right? So I haven't figured out all of them yet. I just started plugging them in. However, um, for the first one, I've got down the friendly beasts. So I want to, I want to get a finish on that. For the first C, I've got cinnamon stars. We got to get, get back to working on cinnamon stars. The second C, I've got cardinal points. I completely missed stitching on cardinal points last week. We all know I started it on the 29th of February on leap day this year. So I try to stitch it, stitch on that piece on the 29th of every month. 29th blew by. I was still stitching on the friendly beasts. So I'm going to, I'm going to make up for that and get cardinal points, probably two days in on cardinal points at least. Um, the other C I am going to do the Christmas Carol Sal from the Stitching Book Club. I've signed up for that. It starts on this Saturday, the 5th of December. So I'm totally committed to doing that. I've got my floss. I do not have my fabric. However, I'm going to call Denise, who is the owner of Threadneedle Street in Issaquah, Washington. She's my closest LNS. And I know what fabric I want. I'm going to do it on the 27 count white Linda fabric that she carries up there. I think it's going to be beautiful. So I need to make a call to Denise to get my fabric. She'll pop it in the mail. It'll show up in plenty of time. I'm not worried. And then the last, um, the last one I've um, filled in, there's an H and I'm going to break out Harbor Haven again. That has been languishing. So that's what I've got so far, but I'm going to go through my whips, pull them, <laughs> pull them down all around me, see what I can fill in for some of the others. There are some pieces that I really um, haven't touched in 10 months at least. Um, yeah, lots of ums today. Sorry, guys. One of the pieces I don't think I've touched since February is Heartstring Samplery's Baby It's Cold Outside. I started that on the 14th of February and I think I put two days of stitching into that one. I want to I want to dust that guy off and get that one finished because even though it does have a Christmas vibe it also has a winter vibe so I feel like once all the Christmas themed things get put away, I can keep that one up through the winter season. So I definitely want to get some, get some good progress on that. And I just have to figure out how to get, get that to fit into my acrostic, but I'll do it. I will do it. I was directed towards a newer floss tuber. She has three floss tubes up the Stitchy Reader. You guys, she's delightful. Go check her out. The Stitchy Reader, she talks about what she reads. She's a librarian. She works, um, I can't remember what library system she works for, but anyway, she talked about what she was reading, and I liked that she apparently is a fast reader because the first um, floss tube of hers I watched she mentioned a book the next floss tube she had finished it and she gave her review so that was pretty fun as you know I also work in a library and I pretty much have lost my stitching uh, not my stitching my reading bug however she kind of spurred me on to 
go, you know, go grab a book and start reading. So I am reading an Agatha Christie, The Secret Adversary. It is a series that features Tommy and Tuppence. I didn't know about these guys. Of course, I know about Miss Marple. I know about um, Pierrot, but I didn't know about Tommy and Tuppence. It is super fun. It is written probably in the in the 40s. There's there's lots of really there's lots of really cute language, you know, Tuppence old beans, stuff like that. If you're looking for kind of a gentle mystery, go check out The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. I'm having a complete blast reading it. And the nice thing is my library system has it on ebook. So in the evening, I can read it on my tablet. My husband can turn out the lights in bed and I can keep reading. So it's working out great for me. I am I am finding I am finding my reading reading bug again, which feels really good. All right. I don't know if I've got any more plans to talk about, but if I do, I will talk about them in my very first Vlogmas video post, which will be happening later today. And we will just make it work while I wait for my boxes to show up. All right, you guys, I hope you had a really great week last week. For those of you that are in the US, I hope your Thanksgiving was fantastic. And I will see you later. And like I like to say, stitch happy, my friends. Okay, bye.